Fellow Canadians, how are you doing, uh, doormat people? You, uh, how does it feel to be a doormat, a nation of doormats? Are, do you love getting stepped on and trampled all over? I hope so. I haven't done a rant video in a long time, so pardon me. We need to talk about Christia Freeland getting yelled at and called a fucking traitor. Now, aside from the many reasons how you could make that argument that she is a fucking traitor, instead, no, we need to look at how the public has reacted to this. Personally, I think if you're a politician, I don't care if you're a woman, I don't care if you're a POC, I don't give a shit. If you're a politician, you should expect to get some flack from the public, especially if you have the authority of the land being the financial officer of Canada. That's not the exact title, whatever. I ran for politics in 2019. I didn't even hold public office and I was getting yelled at. I was getting protested against. I was getting people calling me names in the streets. I even had volunteers have stuff thrown at them. And yes, they were physically intimidated. Did I cry about it? Did I, oh my God. No, I, I had to deal with it. I thought, I, this is just the world of politics. And that was just me participating at the ground floor. These are people that hold public office and make major decisions. Why is inflation so bad? Why are prices skyrocketing? Well, uh, Christia Freeland, the financial something or other, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, uh, might have something to do with her decisions. And did this guy yelling at her make any like good points? No, but he was expressing his anger, his very valid, righteous anger. And there's a lot that could be said about Alberta and the oil and gas industry, which I'm not gonna get into, but. The reason I'm making this video is the reaction has been so frustrating by not just the typical liberals saying, oh, don't, you can't, you can't see it. Don't get angry, kids. No groceries are expensive and it was, might have been partially this woman's, you know, responsibility, but, but even conservative pundits and conservative MPs were chiming in. Now this, I, I condemn this behavior. And, and folks, that's the thing. We are doormats in this country. If you are a man, in Canada, the Canadian political establishment and media wants you to put your balls in a jar on a mantelpiece, okay? That's that's where it belongs. It's going to be on the mantelpiece. No aggression. No, no, no. We're not, uh, we're not aggressive people in Canada. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Don't get angry. Not allowed to get angry. And to exemplify how fucked up this is, do you think, do you think anyone condemned people for yelling at Stephen Harper? Ever? Do you think the left ever did that? To not be aggressive? Oh, duh! You see how badly you are being duped right now? You should feel embarrassed. The political and media establishment in this country treats the Canadian public like such dumb children. It's reprehensible. 